Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. Um, let's start by reading a piece of scripture to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Paul says in verse 12, Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I baptized in mine own name. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus, Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. Now Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. And I was thinking about that. Uh, here Paul is asking these Corinthians, uh, because some of them were saying that they were uh, disciples of or followers of different ones. And Paul is saying, um, I'm just telling you, uh, my job wasn't to come to baptize you. Um, and uh, he said, uh, Christ isn't divided. You weren't born of Paul. Uh, you weren't born of Apollos. And uh, uh, you were not baptized when you were in the name of Paul, but you were baptized in the name of Jesus. And then he says, um, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. And I had this thought on my mind, um, this song, and it was kind of ironic because I came in and sat down and sure enough, I turned the page in a hymn book that I don't sing out of too often. And what is the first song I see? but this song, and so I will share it with you. It's called Near the Cross. Um, today, um, I turn 53 years old, and if there's any place I want to be for the rest of my life, it is near the cross. It is not to try to attempt to preach using my own words, using my own wisdom, using my own uh, what little uh, charisma or style or uh, likability that I may have. Um, I want to be able to say I am close to Christ. I am close to um, not only doing the work that he would want me to do, but if he would say, all work, George, stops here today, I want to be close to him whether he has work for me to do or not. I want to be where he is. I know he's not on the cross any longer. When we look at a crucifix and we see him hanging there, he's not there any longer. But it is that, that empty cross and that empty tomb that helps to remind us what he has done for us. And so this song says, keep me near the cross. And I would say to you, as Paul was saying, he didn't come with enticing words. He didn't come to prove he was a great orator. I preached that the other night at church. He didn't come to baptize in his own name. He didn't come to try to uh, save anybody in his own name or make a name for himself. Um, but he came in the name of Jesus, preaching Christ and him crucified. And what some would consider to be foolish, that right there is the very thing that saves men. So that's what I want to do. I want to be close to him. I want to be, uh, as this song says, near the cross. Help me to always remember and appreciate what he did for me. Jesus, keep me near the cross there a precious fountain 
for another year of life. God, a time uh, to celebrate with family. And um, I thank you for that. I thank you for my wife and my kids and my grandkids and, and uh, my mother and mother-in-law, all those that I love and care for me. I'm thankful for that. But God, I pray that you will help today. God, help me to uh, know and help all those watching this to know that the most important thing for us is to stick close to you. Uh, to follow after your word, to seek your uh, will, and to do it. Lord, we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, have a great day. See you Thursday.